So let's say we are reading a French article and we don't understand Jack. So we're going to highlight what we don't understand, hit copy, and we are going to go to our little shortcut and we hit it. And voila! And we have our little translation. Let's add this to. Let's add it to home the home screen. Add. Okay. So here it is. Deep learning. Let's say now we're reading some Russian. Yeah. Yeah. Noma. Noma Gedov. Let's say we're reading this article and we don't understand something. It's very good for picking words, for getting the meaning of words. Nice and easy. So let's say we have this article and we don't understand what this means. Up etam gavaritsa press release. Press release. So much for Russian ingenuity when it comes to making up new words. So we copy it and we go to our little shortcut. Deep learning. It opens up, it recognizes the language, and we have the translation. So how how did we get this result? So we open the shortcut app and we create a new shortcut. We will call it deep L2. Um, let's add it to the home screen. And OK. Show it. Let also show it in the share sheet. And we're going to add an action. First, we want to get the clipboard. Get clipboard. Then the next thing we want is we want a text. So we're going to paste the clipboard into the text. Next, we're going to replace all the white spaces. Replace White. So here we're going to put a white space with percentage, where's my percentage, 20 in text. Okay, done. And now we're going to look for a web page. Show web page. Add. And here we're going to put, we're going to hit the keyboard here to edit uh, uh, the updated text. So now we press down on the keyboard to go to the left side. We press hard. So we have this function here. We go to the left and we type in deepl.com slash d slash translator then the sharp sign where is it then some language uh, let's say French from from French to English another slash and the updated text so the if I put German here it's going to translate to German if I put English here put, translates to English. English. The bit on the left side where the FR is sitting now doesn't really matter. It will recognize the language automatically. Okay, so let's test it out. Let's say we read some uh, more Russian. Oh, shit. Let's say we read some some 
some French. Animals killed in the forest. Oh no, not what we wanted. Something went wrong. Let's go. Uh, that's weird. Uh, something went wrong again. What went wrong? Show web page. Um, done. Okay. Now I want to open this article. Mm. Oh, it opens a shortcut. Mm. So let's let's highlight something. Mm. Okay. So let's highlight this and copy it. And deep L. Let's go to my short deep L two. Boom. Is it working? Fires in Australia, what consequences for biodiversity? Okay, so we've seen it. Basically, the red one and the pink one are the same. Here's again how you do it. And DeepL is much better than Google Translate. And this is pretty awesome. Much better than using this. So since we won't using won't be using this anymore, let's delete this shit. Thanks for watching.